Have you had a Red Arc Tow Pro Elite, Trail or Liberty installed and want to know how it works and how to calibrate it? Then we've got you covered. Red Arc's Tow Pro features automatic active calibration to accurately measure the vehicle's direction of travel. After installation, the unit will begin calibration with or without a trailer attached. If there is no trailer connected, the remote's LED will not come on. While the vehicle is moving, the Tow Pro will learn its mounting orientation within 20 brake applications. For a most efficient calibration process, 10 second bursts of firm braking are best. We recommend you conduct calibration on a sealed, smooth and quiet road. If a trailer is used during initial calibration, the trailer brakes will function as if in manual off-road mode, indicated by the LED remote glowing green with blue flashes. When the brake is applied, the LED will pulse green and red. As the Topro becomes more confident of its direction of travel, the length of blue flash will increase until the LED is solid blue, indicating it is now operating in everyday mode. Now that your Tow Pro is fully calibrated, you can select between its two different modes, everyday mode and manual off-road mode. Everyday mode is designed for most on-road towing conditions. In this mode, the remote head will glow blue and the Tow Pro will apply the trailer brakes at the level proportional to the vehicle deceleration. The driver can set the braking force from light to heavy braking by simply adjusting the remote. In off-road mode, the Tow Pro remote will glow green and apply the trailer brakes to the level set on the remote regardless of how hard the vehicle brakes are applied. This mode is designed for towing where the driver requires more control, like beach towing. If you brake hard on the soft sand, the vehicle will bite into the sand. And if the trailer does the same, you could end up anchored there. By dialing back the braking force using the manual off-road mode, you can brake the vehicle and the trailer will glide to a stop on top of the sand. Likewise, with steep rocky descents, if you're using low range first gear in the tow vehicle, the engine will be doing most of the braking, so you don't want to have to brake hard to control the trailer behind you. If you dial up the Tow Pro, a light touch on the vehicle brakes will engage the trailer brakes, applying more braking force on the trailer. Initially, we recommend starting the unit on level 4 or 5, and while braking, adjust the level accordingly. During braking, you don't want to feel like you are being pushed or pulled by the trailer, and when set correctly, the trailer will smoothly brake with the vehicle. To switch between modes, ensure the vehicle has come to a complete stop. Then, set the remote to zero, apply the vehicle brakes, and double press the remote. This can only be done while a trailer is attached. And every time a trailer is disconnected and then reconnected, the Tow Pro will start in the mode that it was last set in. The Tow Pro also features sway stop technology, applying the trailer brakes in emergency situations, such as during trailer sway. Sway stop can be activated by pressing and holding the remote knob while driving. This applies the trailer brakes independently from the vehicle to safely pull the trailer back in line. In everyday mode, Sway Stop will apply the trailer brakes at a proportional level, and in manual off-road mode, the trailer brakes will be applied to the level set on the remote. Sway Stop should not be used in place of the regular vehicle brakes. Lastly, the Tow Pro is equipped with a park brake feature. If the Tow Pro detects that the vehicle brakes are applied for longer than three seconds while the vehicle is stationary, it will apply the trailer brakes, decreasing the risk of rolling forward or backward while stopped. If the Topro determines the trailer brakes are not required to keep the vehicle stationary, the brakes will be released. And that's everything you need to know about setting up and using your Red Arc Topro. For more tech tips, head to redarcelectronics.com.